All right, today I'm going to give you, bring you a video which is actually incredibly exciting because I'd say Egan Bernal is probably one of the only top, top, top riders, like can win a grand tour, who uploads his power data and all of his training more or less. Um, so anyway, we'll just go through the outline of what he's been doing. So basically, for the year, he had January, went tour down under, had some pretty good results, Walter Catalonia early season, March, April again, did some uh, spring classics, and then basically then had, had a couple weeks off, then built for... Um, California uh, and then the Tour de France as you can see in July he then crashed in San Sebastian in the week after um, eh, after the Tour de France sorry and then August he basically had off and then built back up for the spring classics um, sorry the autumn classics uh, like in uh, Lombardia he finished top 10 I believe um, and after that he had the whole of November off and he's slowly been building up his training so you can see the first couple of weeks not too much training he gets up to sort of 20 hour weeks now and then 25 hour weeks um, so anyway, we'll just start from like those first proper rides and we'll just go through them and see what he does. Because it's pretty interesting to see what a guy like him does uh, in terms of power and also just like where he is, what his fitness is like. Um, so anyway, this is like the first ride. So um, as you can see, 204 weight average power. So that, that for him is probably like low zone two, um, almost zone one. Or probably at this stage of the season, probably about low zone two, I'd say. Um, and he's just doing some sprints. So you can see 1,110 watts. But now has a very good sprint for a young little lad. Um, so you can just see he chucks him some sprints uh, and the rest of it was just very cruisy zone two. Um, no heart rate, so it's hard to tell, but with a guy like that, you can roughly tell his zones. I, uh, I mean, in a TT, I've seen him do 360 watts for about 45 minutes, so I'd guess his FTP would be about 360, 370 would be my prediction. Um, anyway, next ride, again, this is in Colombia. Uh, no power meter data, but from what I can see and what I've looked at, it looks like another just very cruisy um, ride in zone two with, his, with the lads. Uh, again, this is very similar um, ride. From what I could tell, you can see this. I looked at some of the segments like here. Uh, I didn't seem like it went too hard. And then on this little segment here, like again, not not too hard. So just sort of, you know, base training, very classic. Like when you get back into training, obviously you're not gonna do intervals straight away. You know, you just do some riding, get the heart rate back, used to cycling and all the rest of it. And that's what Egan Bernal is doing. Uh, again, this is just more easy riding, no power meter data, but you can see he put in a little effort here. I'm not, I'm not sure if he put in an effort, but he got top 10, so, you know, fair play. Um, but looking at the speed, 18k an hour for 6%, that for Bernal is uh, really not, not much. I'd say that's sort of like zone 2, zone 3 for him, so nothing crazy. Um, and then again, we have more training in Colombia. This one has power data, 197 weighted average power. Um, you can see he's chucked in some sprints, but, I mean, if you look at his power, I mean, it's, it's pretty smooth, just about 180 watts. Um, so yeah, again, sort of low, low zone two, zone one sort of stuff. Um, and I noticed pros do seem to do that a lot. They like ride incredibly low at zone two. I think it's cause then they can do these absolutely monstrous weeks. Um, well, if they were riding maybe at higher zone two, they, they get more tired. Um, and obviously it'll promote different adaptions. Again, this is a super easy ride for burnout. It's pretty much like a four hour recovery ride. And guess who joined him? Oh yes, Ivan Sosa. And I'm pretty sure Sosa has signed for, um, for Team Sky now, um, just seems pretty obvious. This is their, this is their first day in Mallorca on the 12th of December, and you can see they're just cruising around the Colombian boys. Um, but anyway, Ivan Sosa, unfortunately, we don't have any of his data, or I think it's private, and you can't see it, uh, which is a bit annoying. I'll probably request to follow him in a bit. Um, probably won't accept, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so again, goes to Mallorca. Team Sky always have a training camp in Mallorca, uh, and they just sort of tend to have team training. A lot of teams that when I rode in with them in Adelaide, they have a lot of riders doing different things, but I think... On these team training camps, they try and keep them doing more or less the same thing. Anyway, this is uh, again Banal's ride, um, second ride in uh, Mallorca. He did some efforts. You can see overall weighted average power is not too much, um, but he did sort of some four minute efforts here. Um, as you can see, unfortunately, there's no segment or anything, so we're gonna have to just scroll in and you see roughly what he's doing. Um, but anyway, basically starts out at two thirty nine, and you can see he just ramps up. This last one, uh, so not second last one, was about three hundred fifty watts, and the last one uh, was at four hundred forty watts for four um, minutes. And I put his weight at like fifty six to fifty eight kilos would be my prediction at this time of the year. Maybe maybe a little bit more, but yeah, four hundred forty six for like three minutes is uh, still very solid, especially after doing the under intervals. And I think, in some ways, like his power to like speed like look at that seven percent gradient 27 k's an hour like try and do that power and speed like obviously the roads are super fast but even so like you can sell he's super lightweight because for 446 watts like he's definitely well well below 60 kilos in my opinion um and anyway, again more training as you can see in mallorca um just nothing crazy here um he just did some tempo efforts so you can see here uh on the colder sabatella 
uh, he did 242 watts, um, but he sort of, which I guess is sort of more tempo to him, but again, still sort of zone two stuff. And then down here, he was doing 266 watts, which again is like sort of more zone two, uh, zone three stuff that he's starting to bring in. Uh, and then we have this, he did some sprints. Uh, this is again, we'll just go back to have a little look at it. Uh, you can see 189 weights average power, just cruising around pretty much. The boys, a um, couple sprints here or there, but again, you can see. One thing I'd say that team camps that I've noticed is that they like to have a really long cooldown. So you can see 150 watts for an hour. And that is something I've noticed that they really do have a cooldown. I think to myself, like, I never really do because I'm always like, oh, average speed, average speed. But actually, like, if you're doing a long four hour ride, just take like the last maybe 20 minutes, just like as a real easy cooldown, like just sort of zone one stuff. Um, and yeah, like, I mean, the pros all seem to do it. So then the next day they feel fresher, I guess. But also they have the time to do it. Maybe if you're more time crunch, you only have four hours to ride, maybe it wouldn't be as much of an idea. But for them, that's like, they can have, they can afford to have an hour cooldown because like lols, like what else they can do all day. Um, again, this is just a recovery ride um, with a lot of people. Even Sosa's there. I'm not sure who all these other boys that I think this might they might have met another team or something. I'm not hundred percent sure. We can see people Ganner. People Ganner does post his power data, but I'm pretty sure well Burnout's managed to get a year with still posting it, so maybe maybe there's hope. But anyway, you can see 130 weight average at watts for two hours, so that's real chill. Just cafe run. Um and then you can see he did some efforts up here as well um today. Um, last ride, I think it will probably be for the boys. Maybe they have one really easy ride tomorrow. But again, 227 weighted average power, so not absolutely crazy. But that is just because they have this fat cooldown now. Uh, but anyway, he did some nice efforts. Um, and they're pretty interesting efforts. Um, so they're basically 320 watts, I would say, is probably his sweet spot at the moment. Uh, maybe, because I know Team Sky do do sweet spot. Always cow like When I rode with Team Sky, they did do sweet spot efforts. Um, for sure, but you can see he just does like 640 watts for 25 seconds That's probably just to get the heart rate up to make it even more stressful And then this is just like simulating attacks. You can see he was riding along does 600 watts um, sort of For 10 seconds maybe 15 seconds uh, and then he sort of leaves like, Two minutes in between so you can see so two and a half minutes 600 watts for 15 seconds Maybe and then you know, that's that's what he does in that climb and then that's sort of simulating I guess the same See, big effort here, 600, 700 watts for a fair old time, 612 watts for 30 seconds, uh, which is not insignificant, and then just settle, settles into a nice um, sweet spot sort of intensity, 310 watts, um, keeps it very smooth, uh, 21 kilometers an hour, up 6% gradient, so yeah, that sounds like a sweet spot. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this little video about Eggenburn House training. Um, like, if you want me to do anyone else's training, like, if they post on Strava with power, it's easier. But you can roughly see what they do. I mean, like, mainly at this time of the year, it's getting in the hours in, just, you know, doing some intensity for sure. Like, they don't just do zone two. They do do, like, zone three and other efforts. Um, I can do Team Katusha's training camp if you want because Harry Tanfield's post all that data, and they seem to train together quite a lot. Uh, but anyway, if you do want any more uh, training data, just let me know, and I'm more than happy to do it. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope this was useful, and I'll see you in the next video.